Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 462 and in this video today I'm going to walk you through one of the fantastic dashboard which you can create with the help of the two ActiveX controls scroll bar and the combo box right and this is i'm extremely very excited about this dashboard because you know this is going to give you a lot of lot of in-depth knowledge that how you can you know beautifully use these scroll bars and the combo boxes without knowing the vba and still can create you know uh, beautiful dashboard so welcome to the channel this is the video number 46 uh, 462 and if you're watching the channel for the first time this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar and we have got these all 460 videos on excel excel vba access and access vba right now what you need to do is i'll just tell you i'll just take one minute of yours when you go to my channel there you find the playlist right when you click on the playlist you get to see there all these playlists which i have right now written in front of you because you guys keep coming and keep asking me that how to start where to start because there are so many videos so this is the playlist which i'm sharing in the beginning of every video now this is for the excel vba this is for the excel this is for the access front end this is for the access vba you have to follow all these playlists in this sequence and one more thing i just heard that you know youtube has you know done the changes in the notification if you are subscribed to the channel and if you're not receiving my notifications i mean whenever i upload a video and you're not receiving the emails like you know we used to receive the emails please go to the channel go on the front page of my channel and this bell you know the where you have subscribed this you know you you would see this icon which is called the bell just click there and subscribe for the notifications if you are receiving the notifications or if you don't see my you know this bell on my channel that's okay then there's not you don't have to do anything right this is just the update i wanted to give you because i was going through some youtube channel videos and i learned this recently now let's come back to the topic right so i'm going to show you that how to make this sort of dashboard which i have you know created in front of you now i'll tell you what exactly it is happening now this is you know obviously i am just going to show you the dummy database but with this you can create wonders you can do a lot of lot of you know great stuff so if you look at this uh, this basically talks about the you know the team leader so here actually i should write here tn this is the team leader name and this is this is where you you know have these uh, the basically the executive names so you can write here let's say the agent names and this is where the short calls answer and this data actually is coming from this table you can see here this is my data which is very short data obviously and this can be on a different uh, you know worksheet doesn't really matter but i just wanted to show you so if you just go through this data here what we are having is this is a sort of a bpo data you know the call center data where we have the team leaders and their executives and how many short calls basically they have taken now you can obviously needless to say you can add as many headers uh, as you want uh, after knowing the technique how uh, you know what exactly we are doing and how we have automated this task so here we have all the you know associates and now what we are supposed to do here how the dashboard is working i have created here a box which is a combo box if i just go and select any team leader name from for example here you see that the data is automatically going to change so here we have the tl name and here we have you know that tl's agent names with their short calls and if anywhere it founds that you know it finds that the short calls are greater than 44 then uh, greater than sorry 10 then it is going to you know give it a strike and it's going to show you in the red color and not only this this is a scroll bar you can see that the moment you click on this scroll bar this data is going to change can you see that so the data is changing right so this is what exactly guys we are actually going to do here right so on the one side i have a scroll bar and you keep on scrolling so you can see all the records you know using this scroll bar one by one you see that the graph is also changing so here i can see that xyz is a person who is taking the maximum short calls right so that person is on my radar so if you just go back you know and you click here you can see the all the you know the allen team so this is how it is going to work right so you can scroll it and all the agents names are going to you know uh, change accordingly and if when you click on let's say another let's say the team leader i click on the aman so when you click on the aman this is where you get to see the aman names name one name two so i have just used actually the dummy data if you just go here and you see that so aman has name one name two name three name four so mickey and then ajay and then you know jodh and then rajat and then mehboob and so these are all the names of people who are a part of this you know team leader so obviously I, i'm not able to show all these you know uh, the team leaders here so that is why we created the scroll bar the moment i click here you know you you would see the next name of the person which is going to be rajat 
right and then again if I click here you're gonna see the next person Mehboob and again you click here again you're gonna see that another person but we don't have any other person so that's why it shows blank right and anyways by the way these cells are getting red we will do the conditional formatting and we will sort this out because if when we don't have a data this should not actually be looking like a red and simultaneously if you're looking at the graph that is also changing right so if I just select any other team leader you would have the you know the data of that team leader so let me just pick back here and scroll it up and you can see that Abdul basically has only two associate names right or uh, maybe more actually we have four so this is how the graph is also changing so guys this is a kind of a scorecard which uh, we are supposed to you know work and so I will start from the very scratch and these are all the you know the images which I have downloaded from the net uh, to give it a good look and of course I have you know hidden the ribbon but the ribbon is working if you click on the formula you know the ribbon is going to come or even if you double click here the rib ribbon is going to come right that's all up to you I just wanted to give it a big screen now let's go back and let let us see that because there are a lot of things going you know behind this dashboard actually it is not really so easy but at the same time it is not even tough you need to know the indirect function you need to know the offset function and that's it right now if you don't have any information about these ActiveX controls then you can go and you know check out my videos on the art of making dashboards Excel yeah, there is a playlist called art of making dashboards and you can see all those videos there I have talked about all these you know the ActiveX controls right so let me insert a new workbook and I'm gonna paste the data okay so I have pasted the data to save your time now let's go back to the developer tab and here I'm going to quickly insert the combo box so just click on the combo box in the ActiveX control this is my combo box which I'm going to insert first of all and then again go to the insert and we are going to use the scroll bar here right to find out where is the scroll bar this is my scroll bar so I'm just going to use the scroll bar here like this you know you can reshape it uh, you know reshape it you can resize it that depends how actually you want to go with that i'm just going to keep it like this and maybe i, I just keep my you know the basically the team leader name over here right so this is how basically my combo box is going to work here right let's go to the view and i'm quickly going to remove the grid lines now the first thing obviously which i want to do i want to quickly paste the headers so I have pasted all these headers, I have given the grid lines guys and I have given the you know yellow font and the, the background color is black right and now what we want to do let's now start the you know this exercise this dashboard now what I want to do is first of all you have to make sure that all the you know these team leaders should come in your combo box so you just go and write their name somewhere right now you can write them anywhere for you just for the demo you know demonstration perspective i'm going to write here all the team leaders right so i go here and i'm going to write all these team leaders so i have abdul i have krishna and i go here and i just go and you know write their names here right you can also use the if you have a long list you can simply remove the duplicates right so we have got all the names i guess uh, one is left which is rishab so i'm just going to show it here okay so once we have the list now I immediately go to this I select this I go to the developer tab and in the developer tab you go to the property and in the property now what you need to do is you need to list fill range so I'm going to say that my list range would come from D5 and D5 to D9 so this is how you're going to fill the range and the link set so would you like to you know link this cell yes I want to link this cell maybe let's say with a1 so I'm just going to write here a1 right I already talked about all these things you you need to go back if you don't understand anything here if you think I'm going fast please go and watch those videos under the playlist called Excel art of making dashboards right so now what happens now I you know click back here just to get the rid of this design mode so that I can click here and I can see that the list of my you know people so you can see that all the associate names are coming and obviously you can always hide this or for the time being I'm simply going to make it a white font so that we should not be able to see that list right so now the team leader list is done now what we need to do here is now I want to actually find you know I want to find that this that this up tool if I select any other name let's say maybe Alan then this Alan actually in this table you know where exactly it is coming I want to capture this address which is a5 right this is the first task so how are you going to capture the a5 well you would you would simply somewhere here or maybe here you can use the match function you see that the match and whatever the value you have here in this a1 because what you select in the combo box it's going to reflect here 
if you remember uh, in the properties windows I chose their a1 cell in the linked cell option right so I'm going to look up this value in this you know entire list which is going to be uh, this a1 to you know this entire table a to a and zero so let me just do one thing uh, instead of using this you know uh, let's do one thing uh, let's write the formula here match and then look up this Allen and you got to look up this in this table and give me the exact value right now so I'm going to start so obviously the Allen is here so it's going to find that so I guess uh, we should move this because uh, I don't want anything here that's my mistake so I just go in the developer tab again and I click on the design mode design mode enables you to work you know on these controls so I can select that I can go to the properties now and instead of choosing this you know a1 I'm going to choose this as let's say b1 right because it should not be part of this table otherwise it will always stop here that's a mistake we don't want to do that so now we are done with that and finally when we are done with that so now you can see here just give me a second uh, I just click back here and now why we're getting here all right we're getting here Alan and here now I just remove this part and here we're going to actually find out the row so I just go and use this now Alan and I'm going to find out the position of this Alan in this table now you know that it's going to give me five right and it is correct so this is the target cell this is where I want to start my offset function because I'm trying to actually guys find out the reference what is that reference from where I want to start now I'm just going to do one thing this is five and I know that my all the names are in the column A so what you do is you just simply concatenate it with the A and you just press enter and you have now a5 let me just give it a color this is a very important part right so now a5 is the address from where I want to go and pick up the all the rows so from the a5 I want to pick up this row from the a5 I want to pick up this first row using the offset from the a5 I, I want to pick up the you know another row which is 2 and then from the offset again keeping this reference as it is I'm going to pick up the another you know the row so 0 1 2 3 4 all that sort of stuff is going to come and this is what exactly we're going to do here right now the important thing let's go back to the scroll bar now now you know if you use the offset function first of all tell me uh, do you know the offset or not if you don't know the offset you can watch this video just you know out of the curiosity or maybe just for the fun but let me tell you you may not be able to understand it but no worries go to the channel and find out the playlist there excel offset function and watch the first two videos and you will understand this video you can come back to this video again basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say that offset me from this cell and the zero row and the zero column so when you press enter what happens you get to see the Allen right and then here again I'm going to write the offset me from the same cell but this time on the same row but on the column number one that's how we write the you know of the function so this is what we are going to do this is the approach this is the idea right now obviously for any other cell if I select let's say the Amon you know then for the Amon what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually find out this that where is the Amon right so Amon is going to be on the 17th row which is actually the A17 and this is what is going to act as a reference for the offset function so the next time when the offset guys works you know what it is supposed to do this offset which I have right now written as a5 this is automatically going to change to this a17 and then and then what happens when you press f2 let me do this so obviously when the reference is going to change you will have your value according to that team leader this is the idea this is the crux of this you know dashboard right so let's go and let's do this now so what I'm going to do is I again go to the developer tab quickly and I now click on the design mode I click here because when you don't click on the design mode you cannot edit your these ActiveX controls now I'm going to again go in the property window in the property window now what I will do is I will link my this cell with something you know link cell means that the moment I click on this scroll bar every time I click there has to be some value the numbering has to be you know the, the numbering has to go somewhere so I'm going to actually you know link this with the D1 okay this is what I want to do now the minimum value has to be zero and the maximum value has to be well you can decide you know whatever the maximum value you want to give so for example I just give it let's say uh, the maximum value as uh, maybe 30 right so I give it 30 so that means when you're going to click here the you know when the scroll bar is going to move when it is going to reach to this the last point your value the max value is going to be 
30 remember that point right and this is what uh, is going to decide your number of rows because I know that I don't have more than 30 rows here for any team leader so I'm okay with that but if you have a huge data please decide according to that right I talked about this in my scroll bar video you can go and check that if you want to give any back color you can give like you know you, if you saw that in my that previous you know the dashboard I, I given this sort of you know the black color well that's all up to you you can give it uh, you can give the back color and in the four color also you can give sort of you know maybe let's say this so these icons will have this kind of a color right that's okay this is all the customization so now so now once we are done now look at this I just click back on the design mode let's go off let's just uh, you know uh, get ourselves uh, you know off from this design mode so that I, 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 I can click here the moment I click here you know you see that this is going to be one if I again click this is going to be two look in the D1 cell look at look in the D1 cell guys three four five six seven eight and you keep on clicking here and this is what you're going to have the moment I just finish it's going to be the 30 and if you remember I given that the limit as 30 so this is the other cell which is very important for us right so I just go and give it a different color okay so this is my color now what I want to do is because we want to use the offset function so what I will do is this is my first row right so here I just go and choose this 30 and then I'm going to add quickly 111 here because this is going to work as my row numbers when I'm going to use the offset function guys so when you are going to be on the top you see that this is going to be zero and this is the idea this is what I want to do now see this combination what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say that offset me start from where I want to start from this cell which is a 17 but how will you go there because if I choose this cell you know c1 then offset will start from c1 but you don't want to start from c1 isn't it you want to start from a 17 then then guys you are going to use the indirect function because indirect is a function which can take you there if you don't believe me look at this if I just write here indirect if I just write here indirect there are a lot of videos I uploaded on the internet I think there are like 8-10 videos and please go and watch all those videos one by one starting from the scratch and you will understand this is very easy I just select this E is you know this cell C1 and the moment I press enter look at this guys I'm actually on this team leader name which is called Aman and the reason is very simple because indirect goes in this cell which is my C1 in the C1 indirect finds what is the cell address and it goes there because indirect is an indirect function it is not a direct function right now the same thing this is the exactly what I'm going to do I use this now the reference because now a 17 is going to be used as a reference so I go and use this indirect c1 in this reference point right so when I'm going to use this in the reference point what happens I give the row number now what is the row number so if I'm starting from a 17 which is obviously this Aman I want to capture the same row right so I write here 0 but instead of writing this zero because when I drag this down I want this to be one row number two row number three so I'm just going to use this as g4 right so if I move this left to right it should always remain as dollar g and if I move it down it has to be dollar g5 dollar g6 so I'm making my row numbers dynamic what about the column number so I'm going to select this column number and here I'm going to write zero so for the time being let me just press enter and now I'm just going to write here zero and then one and two right so this is going to act as your column numbers now in the j12 if I drag it down it should not change to j13 because as a rule Excel is going to change that so I'm just going to freeze that I keep the j open so that when I move this left to right it's going to be 1 and then 2 right and similarly for the indirect c1 this has to remain fixed because here I'm going to get my that particular cell from where this actually the team leader team starts this is very important guys right so I just go and press enter now if I just go and drag this down let's see what's gonna happen so I just go and drag this down so you get the value here for all the team leaders uh, you know the, the value is coming here Aman Aman so how many times we have got this let me just zoom in so you can see here that I got here one two three four five six seven eight nine and how many rows basically we are covering here we can see one two three four five six seven eight so if I just go and click one more time you see that this is going to take me to the next amount so I keep on clicking here and that's what you're gonna see here look at this guys can you see that so this is what exactly is happening so basically all the values now I have here Rishabh, Rishabh, Abdul and then you know so I think there is some problem here we should not be able to get this Aman here uh, let me check my data is there anything wrong because after Aman we have Abdul and then Krishna so 
I think uh, there is some problem here. Let's go and check that. So why are we getting this? All right. So let me press F2. Yeah. You see that, guys? So I'm not going to edit the video, right? You have to. Some people, you know, they comment on the channel that the video was very long. But I don't understand, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't want to be rude. But you know, to be very frank with you, if I'm not going to explain you the things, you know what what is the fun <laughs> why you're watching my video right i want to give you knowledge right so let's go and let's enjoy the video now you see that what happens so basically if you're wondering why i'm getting you know here the aman the reason is because i forgot to mention here 14 so this is blank cell which means zero so what actually offset is doing it's starting from a17 it's stopping there because my row number is zero and in the row number zero already you know because if you start from a17 the row number zero for the offset is going to be that aman itself right so ideally i should have actually i forgot to increment this value as well the moment i pl add plus one you see that now you're getting all the values which comes after Aman. Now these are all those TLs which are appearing after this Aman and we don't want to see that, isn't it? Because I just want to, you know, in the combo box if I selected Aman, I don't want these values coming over here. But offset doesn't know that because offset, you said that offset, what you need to do is, if I look at here, why the reshape is coming, you said, let me press F2, you said that offset, you start from the A17, which is the first Aman, right? And then you go nine rows down. So that means it's going to go nine rows down. And in the ninth row, it finds this name. It's not Aman. So we have to do something here. So I just go and, you know, I say that if, if this entire function, if the value of this entire function okay uh, is not equals to the value which we have selected here from the combo box which is coming in the b1 then only use the offset if uh, sorry then just give the space and otherwise just pick up the offset that's it this is what we are going to say so if aman is not going to be uh, you know a part of this when you actually scroll it down these values you know like Rishabh Abdullah there are so many values if that those values are not equals to this name there's no point of reflecting them so just press enter guys and I'm just going to drag it the moment I drag it you see that the values are gone now if you if you if you are wondering that why I'm getting only two Aman whereas I have so many you know these team leaders name available here look at the scroll bar guys this is you're on somewhere in the middle of that you have to scroll up and the moment you start you know scrolling up you will start seeing the values look at this wonderful so basically it's the only the offset function It's the offset magic which is taking you with the help of these row numbers to the next row but it is used in this scroll bar in such a way that you feel that you know the actually the screen is moving but the screen is not moving i'm only using only these eight or nine rows and in the eight or nine rows basically what is happening these row numbers are changing so whenever i click here this becomes eight then offset goes to the eighth row from this a17 reference when i click here then the offset goes to the ninth row and the 10th row and so on and look at this the moment i you know i'm on the ninth row it has nothing because if i start from here the a17 and i go nine rows down you're gonna you're not gonna see anything there remember that that is that is what you know how the scroll bar is actually you know uh, used here with this uh offset function now if i just go and uh, you know drag this down here let's see if we get the value i'm not getting here value so let me check let me press f2 so what's wrong with this uh, i'm getting here the proper column zero and the zero row and the first column and it starts from a17 it starts from a17 but there's some i think uh, it's giving me the space so that means that it's saying that you're not equals to b1 so i guess i have to see this formula again so um let me press F2. Uh, so, so I think that the problem is this that, or oh, this offset actually, this this is returning me something else. It's not returning me Aman, and I know the reason because you're using here one. So basically here, uh, it should always you know it should not be uh, the key 12. It actually it has to be zero because your all the names are on the column zero. So I'm just going to write here zero, but make sure this should be key 12 because this is the true part. If the if condition fails then you're going to you know look out for this you know uh, from this a17 go to the row number you know zero and the column number one so automatically from the a17 if i see here the zero row it would be the same row and the column would be this so that's what we need but here when you're actually cross-checking when you're seeing that 
whether this name is equals to this name so you know that the team leader names are you know in the first column in the a column so obviously this indirect uh, this offset function this column part this has to be zero because we need to stop here right away here so i press enter and you can see that it's coming here right so i just go and drag this and there we go so i just go and drag this and i'm going to just copy this and i'm going to uh, paste it here as well right so i think uh, now the function works uh, if i just click here let's see that so i click on the scroll bar and there we go you can see that the function is working guys right this is how we can make this dashboard if you go and select anything else let's say i select the allen you see that the allen team is coming now i can quickly go and scroll up and this is how you can create this you know the dashboard right so now what else is required so now we want to simply write here that if we have a calls greater than you know uh, 10 let's say then it, it should actually you know highlight the entire row so you can do one thing you can select this entire range maybe and you can go to the condition formatting and in the condition formatting you can see that the new rule and in the new rule you can you know write that use a formula and you can write that if this is going to be greater than 10 then I simply go and I just want to write you know I just want to give it a maybe yellow color fill effect I use the fill effect so that I can use the combination which looks great diagonal up let's say press ok and you want to give some font color well you can choose the font color let's say the white and make it bold you can also make it bold italic you can also give the strike through that's all up to you guys right so i just click ok and once you click ok now let's see so now i'm going to see that how the function is going to work uh, so this is not getting highlighted so there, there must be some problem let's go back to the condition formatting because 11 should be highlighted i go to the manage rules and in the manage rules i want to check now i got the problem actually the problem is I forgot to remove the dollar sign because if you're going to put the dollar in front of the 4 then what means every time the comparison will happen with the L4 and in the L4 we have a short call just one right but it has to do the comparison with every row right so make sure you should remove this now I click OK and I'm sure you will get the value and there we go you can see that guys this entire row is highlighted right so when you click back this is how the table is going to work for you now look at this there's another item which is coming here you know which is showing you that these again the associates are you know not doing well now what about this the blank cell if you have the blank cell then i think it should not do the condition formatting isn't it so i think to get the rid of that uh, maybe instead of this blank uh, you know we can do one thing we can write here something let's say i i write here not found okay and i just go and just drag this not found and i'm just going to drag it here again i'll tell you the reason why i'm doing that obviously you get to see here nf nf so now your condition formatting go in the condition formatting again and let's add one more rule so i'm going to add the rule and i say that now this time what you need to do is if your cell if this value and let me remove the dollar sign immediately from here if this is going to be equals to nf okay then i think we don't have to do anything right then then i want that uh, the font should remain as you know the black right this, this the font has to be black and uh, the fill has to be uh, there has to be no fill basically no color we don't need any color I just click OK I press OK and as you can see here this is what you know you get to see here right so you have the uh, NF NF coming here and of course you need to remove the you know that strike as well so you can go there and you can uncheck that right that you can do i think so when you scroll this this is how it looks like not found not found right well there are n number of techniques guys it's not necessarily that you know uh, i mean in the condition formatting if you don't want to highlight this you can again go to the condition formatting manage rules so for example you don't need the nf as well to be shown right so you can go to the edit rule and you can make sure that you when you click ok so let me just go to the edit rule so i go to the edit rule i click on the you know this format part and now here what you can do is you can give this um, you know uh, the border as well uh, you know the uh, the font color as you know the white right so you can choose the white and then in the fill also you can give this uh, you know this the white color and uh, strike through should not be there so just make sure you should uncheck that you can press ok i just click ok I you know click on the apply and this is how it looks like right so i mean these these are all the things 
um, I think you are learning the conditional formatting as well. This is the additional bonus you are getting. Look at the dashboard. I'm really loving this, right? Uh, so somebody asked me actually that uh, you know uh, how to use the scroll bars and the combo boxes. So that that's the answer. And this is how you can use. And I'm just going to hide everything here. So I'm just going to hide this as well. Now what about the chart? So chart is very simple. Obviously this is your data. So you can simply go and insert the chart here. Choose any chart of your choice. Let's say I'm going to uh, choose this, um, uh, not this one actually, I choose the line graph. So I go and select the line graph and to make sure that you should put this next to the, you know, this graph or maybe down here also, that's all up to you. That's how my line graph is going to look like. I put the line graph here and now go to the design and select the data. Now which data? Obviously the data which is, you know, coming in your dashboard. So I just go here and select the entire data. So let me select that with the header and there we go. Just press OK and now you have your that data which is in front of you. All right. So um, why it's not coming? Let me check that. Let me select the data again here. So uh, it is from J3 to L11. All right. So I think um, um, let me switch the rows and let's 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 check the data so are we getting here the formula yeah we are getting the formula here so let's go back to the design mode i go to to the select data and i have to see this why it's not coming that's very strange so why i'm getting here nf 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 all right so uh i have to make sure that my let me just remove first of all everything from here i go and select the table again so i select my table till here i press ok and now let's go back and you know use the school bar oh i just realized uh, you don't need the team leader i'm doing a stupid mistake uh, because team leader you already know from the combo box it's gonna come and that is why you know the chart was getting confused actually so let me just go and select data again and we just need the executives with the short calls that's your proper data right all right so i just go and press ok and uh, now let's go and check that out uh, so there we go we have this data in front of you you can give it a any design of your choice let's say i give this this template i'm using office 2016 excel 2016 very beautiful templates so you have the templates in front of you and i'm just going to zoom in you know a little bit and now we can see that how it is working so i select the Amun and just put it on the top and there we go guys you can see that Ajay is the person oh it's me it's me who is taking the maximum short calls which is very bad so this is how you can actually you know make this scroll bar work for you right so every time you click here the every time you will find a new data right so I click here and that's how the chart is going to work right so you see that these all nf nf they are coming because they are not there right but obviously you can get the rid of that as well that's not the problem i mean you can uh, you can further go and in the charts also you can use the offset function guys because you know in the design view if you if i select you see that this is the data which is coming but you can give them the name managers and i had talked about this in one of my offset video how to make the chart stand make so what happens basically because right now your chart is picking up in this entire data and these are all the blank rows and because of which you're getting here nf because you know in the background you're basically displaying here nf it's just because of the conditional formatting you're not able to see that but the point is you can make your chart dynamic so that every time it only picks up this data so i mean it, it is going to pick up the data till the time it finds a value right so that you can do i talked about that you can do that uh, by watching that you know my that video on the offset series so that's how basically is it is all about the planning and of course then you can put you know some images here as as i was showing you you know these images you can actually download from the you know uh, the google and you can use these all the images and you can make your dashboard you know pretty awesome right but these these customization is something which is um, everybody can do that it's not really a big deal the idea is to learn the techniques to learn the you know these offset indirect functions and how cleverly how beautifully actually we use this combo box with this combo button right so i hope this is video is going to take you to the new height uh, and don't forget to you know uh, watch the other videos as well on the art of the making dashboard
right you can there are 12 13 videos there right so in the end of the video guys as always do support me subscribe to the channel and next time i bet i'm going to discuss more awesome things than this thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful evening bye bye